What's going on guys, SM Outdoors bringing you a video. Uh, this is going to be a series of a few videos. Um, those of you that follow the channel know I bought a 2020 F-150 Lariat recently, well about three months ago. I'm going to be turning this truck into a overland slash bug out slash off grid camping, fishing, rig type thing. Whatever you want to call it, whether you call it overland or bug out or, you know, it could all, it could all be, uh, mixed into the same category. It's going to be a vehicle that I can sleep in, that I have recovery gear in, that I have food in, that I have everything I need to survive in basically. Uh, and that's, that's that. And I'm going to mainly be using it for fishing trips and stuff like that, hunting trips, camping trips, when I'm not with the whole family. When I'm with the family, you guys know I have this already. Which is obviously not a very overland, it's a more luxury. So this is a build project that I'm going to be working on. It's probably going to be a three or four part video. Today I'm going to show you how it looks right now. The only thing done so far is a cap, um, as well as uh, some stuff that I normally carry on a daily basis, which I'll go over with you real quick. Uh, I'll show you some of the mods that I have on here now. The next video will be me building out the back. I have a very simple plan that I actually found on YouTube, so I will show that and how that comes. Third will be everything that's going to be in it and carrying it, and fourth will be testing it out, using it on a trip, uh, an overnight camping trip, uh, somewhere in the Catskills or something along those lines. So with that said, I will um, go ahead and spin this camera around, give you a quick view of the truck and uh, what's done so far. So the truck again is a 2020 uh, F-150 Lariat with the 3.5 EcoBoost. Um, I love the 3.5. I also like that the truck comes with a 36 gallon fuel tank, uh, which allows hundreds and hundreds of miles uh, before needing to refuel. I apologize for the motorcycle that went by. If you didn't hear what I said, I said it's a 3.5 EcoBoost, very powerful engine, and uh, 36 gallon fuel tank uh, allows a lot of time without needing to refuel, which is great. Um, I have a two inch Bilstein suspension lift. I did not want to go with the blocks like I did last time. They just didn't ride well, so I did the Bilstein struts. It's a night and day difference, rides much better than factory. I have 17 inch method tires, uh, sorry, method rims with 285-70-17 uh, Nitto Ridge Grapplers. There's a very small offset, it's a zero, so it sticks out about a, say about an inch past the fender well. For the side steps, uh, I just took off the factories and put on Raptor takeoffs. They're a lot less slippery, they're a lot more solid, and they sit up a lot higher. So just makes it, uh, I'm, I'm more comfortable driving it that way. Inside, for the most part, is fairly stockish, minus weather floor mats. Uh, I have an Edge CTS2 tuner. Um, just gives the truck a little more grunt, a little more power. Uh, door over here, just some simple stuff, flashlight, life straw, random stuff. Again, I'll go over in-depth of what I have in the truck, but uh, my phone holder there does have Apple CarPlay so I could run the maps and stuff off here. In the back I keep a couple hiking sticks and uh, always have a pair of boots in here and then uh, you have this under seat storage and that's for when my dog comes. Again I will go over a thorough video of what's actually in the truck. Then we come back to the cap. This is an ARE. This I actually just picked up a few days ago on Amazon. Um, the quality seems to be incredible. Um, I live in upstate New York and I pull probably 30 people out of ditches during snowstorms just on my way to work or going to the store or whatever. It's a very crappy area snow-wise. Um, so I picked this up just because it can pop in and off really easily and it will, um, with the twist lock here, I could have a strap on there a lot quicker than trying to hook it underneath and mess around with it. So I got that just for, uh, peace of mind and to be able to help out a little easier. Uh, my cap does have rails on top. Uh, I just need to get the uh, 
rack pieces to go across, which uh, I just ordered from the same place I ordered the cap. They should be in, in a, within a few days. So the next video, those will probably be on. I have the sliding front window so I can pass through to the cargo area of the truck and uh, sliding windows on both sides as well. And the back here. So opening this up, I'll give you an idea of how I plan to lay this out. So my plan here is to just take a board approximately 12 inches that's going to go completely across uh, up there where you see those clamps. And I will have three storage bins underneath. As those three bins are underneath, they'll be locked into place by like a lag bolt or something that I'm going to put in from the top. And then when I want to sleep back here, I'll simply take those bins out, put them on top of the platform that goes across so that would be utilized as almost like a shelf. I could also eat there, um, work on my laptop there, whatever I want. Um, so it's going to be a very simple concept. Um, I'm just going to have basically a futon style mattress that I throw back here and it's going to be very, very easy, very simple. I don't want to build an entire platform in here because I do throw a lot of stuff in here all the time and I don't want to have to worry about taking hours to rip it apart and take it out, etc. The only thing I have in here now is my tracks, which have came in uh, very, very helpful last winter. Um, battery pack, jumper box type deal, some basic tools, and this is uh, recovery stuff here. A couple uh, toe straps, pole straps, jumper cables, lights, rope. So, again, when I get into the detailed video, I'll get into much more detail than that. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. It lets me know that you're interested in what we're putting out. And uh, the next video for this truck will be up within a week, probably even sooner. Today is Friday. It would probably. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be up by Sunday night because Sunday I plan to uh, work this part and uh, I want to record it while I'm doing it just to make it a little easier for those that want to copy it. So with that said, again, stay tuned i appreciate any uh feedback that you guys might have if you think i should do something slightly different um i'm i'm always open i don't know better than anybody i'm always i'm always ears so uh that's it guys uh, appreciate you taking a look uh, please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next video